Hello people, in this video let us look at this terminology thesis bulbi. Look at the spelling here. This is, you can remember like this is bulbi. So what is thesis bulbi? It is a shrunken non-functional eye. Okay. So it is a non-functional eye which is shrunken. Okay. So that is the thesis bulbi. Okay. So chronic UVI it is finally what will happen? It can end as soft shrunk atrophic eye okay so that is thesis bulbi so in chronic uveitis the when this chronic uveitis is there for a long time the what will happen the eye can uh, become soft shrink and become atrophic so that is what is thesis bulbi this is showing a shrunken eyeball in the uh, stages of development of uh, thesis bulbi, you have three overlapping stages. Actually, the last stage, the atrophic bulbi, atrophic bulbi stage, is what is actually called as the thesis bulbi. Okay. So, what are the three stages? Stage of atrophic bulbi without shrinkage. So, there is no shrinkage initially. And then there is shrinkage. And what is this? Atrophic bulbi with disorganization disorganization so here you have atrophic bulbi with sh without shrinkage atrophic bulbi with shrinkage and atrophic bulbi with disorganization so that will make it more clear right so that is what is called as thesis bulbi okay just let's go forward we'll come back to each of these stages okay and we'll see each of these stages what happens but just let us see what and all other kind of the causes you saw chronic uveitis Actually, it can be a complication of iridocyclitis and it can also occur because of zoster uh, and ischemia, that is herpes zoster, right? Then it can be a late complication of cataract surgery. It can also be because of Coates disease where uh, there is ex uh, exudative retinopathy that can lead to uveitis. Obviously, uveitis will lead to thesis bulbi. Regmatogenous or primary retinal detachment that can also lead to this. Retinoblastoma also in uh, very high risk groups, that is group E retinoblastoma, you can see thesis bulbi. Okay. In uh, thesis bulbi, what and all will you see? You, you, uh, the intraocular pressure may be decreased. There will be mechanical entropion, that is infolding of the eyelid, right? Entropion. And there, there will be acquired ptosis. Ptosis is what? Grouping of the eyelid, usually the upper eyelid. Acquired, this is an acquired ptosis. Pseudoproptosis. What is proptosis? That is uh, uh, exophthalmos, right? Protrusion of eyeball, but this is pseudo. The eyeball is actually not protruding, but then it doesn't look protruded, right? It's actually shrunken. Okay, there will be narrow palpebral fissure. Definitely you can see a narrow palpebral fissure. Eyeball size decreases. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Corneal size also decreases. Corneal size also is small. Okay, then... Um, Corneal size is also small. Calcific degeneration, band-shaped keratopathy. So, the what happens to the cornea? Calcific degeneration. Okay. Moving on. You can give scleral lens just for cosmetic purposes. Okay. To make it look good. Cosmetic scleral lenses, soft contact lenses. Right. Enucleation, um, that is removal of eyeball, they can do if it is painful. Okay. Painful condition, they can consider uh, enucleation. And uh, they can also give uh, prosthesis to make it look very good. Cosmetic purpose. Look at this one. Enucleation, then prosthesis. Remove the eyeball, put a artificial eyeball. Now let us look at the uh, uh, three overlapping stages of this thesis bulbi or bulbi. Stage of atrophic bulbi without shrinkage. So first it doesn't shrink. First of all, there's atrophy, atrophy, but it doesn't look shrunk, is it? Initial stage of loss of function of ocular tissue, which occurs due to continued inflammation or loss of nutrition support. Okay. Loss of function of ocular tissue. Okay. This is, there is continued, first of all, let's put this, there is continued inflammation. Loss of nutritional support. Okay, then there is loss of function of ocular tissue. Okay, 
okay they're not talking about shrinkage further look at this without shrinkage right so definitely the shape of the globe is maintained right shape of globe is maintained vision is lost this is what is the whole definition it's a non functional eye lens becomes cataractous okay lens also is getting the uh, opacified right retina develops serous detachment so retinal detachment lens is getting cataractous okay so the retina is becoming atrophic iop is raised in early stages due to inflammatory glaucoma in early stages iop is raised okay only in early stages iop is intraocular pressure is raised so can you summarize this what is happening inflammation loss of nutrition loss of um, function right loss of function vision is lost but the shape is maintained the lens is getting cataracts the retina has issues the iop is raised initially okay but what you should remember is there is no shrinkage just look at this the shape of the globe is maintained right the globe shape is maintained vision is lost lens is becoming cataracts retina develops serous detachment retina is getting detached okay that is the retinal separations the layer of the retinas are getting separated atrophic changes are there but the uh, shape of globe is maintained right then what is happening early stages intraocular pressure will be more because of all this inflammation that is happening right okay so stage 1 is over let's move on to stage stage of atrophic bulb b with shrinkage now there is shrinkage so definitely if there is shrinkage you will write what will you write eyeball becomes smaller square shaped eyeball is becoming square shaped because it is maintained by the four recti so maybe that's why it's square shaped so here what is happening there is continued ciliary body dysfunction iop is lowered see normally you should remember for thesis bulbi iop is lowered cornea becomes edematous vascularized anterior chamber is collapsed so let's look at all this what are they saying this is going to become a square shape why why because uh, the ciliary body dysfunction where is the ciliary body here so here you can see the ciliary body what is ciliary body exactly so ciliary body is nothing but these to the muscle and the epithelium right it is maintaining the shape of the lens it is responsible for all this production of iop etc so now what is happening if that is affected the iop will reduce the lens is becoming um, contract what is it cataractus okay then what did they talk about the cornea cornea is becoming edematous cornea is becoming edematous and vascularized okay so there is um, vascularization which is not at all a good thing right blood vessels coming in here so that will affect vision but this is already a vision is gone right okay okay let's revise the stage 2 stage of atrophic bulb b with shrinkage continued ciliary body dysfunction iop is lowered cornea becomes edematous vascularized anterior chamber is collapsed there is low iop so anterior chamber is collapsed what can you say can you link those two eyeball becomes smaller and square shaped okay fine then let us move on to stage of atrophic bulbi with disorganization the disorganization what is this disorganization we have to only understand that part now right okay so here they are saying this is the final stage it is known as uh, exactly this one is the thesis bulbi so here the eyeball should be shrunken right so that fits into the definition uh, eyeball size of the eyeball is remarkably decreased this is what is the definition size right shrunken iop is lowered this is so generally in this bulb by the iop will be lowered cornea becomes sclera like what do you mean by cornea becomes sclera like so where is cornea here right on this this is what is cornea and here below the conjunctiva whatever that white part you see that is sclera so now the cornea is becoming like sclera if cornea becomes like sclera will it look something like this something like this cornea is becoming like sclera okay so that is the last stage okay disorganization cornea is becoming sclera like eyeball size is markedly decreased iop is marked markedly lower okay that's it let us understand the histopathological uh, look of this uh, 
last stage they are saying disorganization of all intraocular tissues all that's why in the name itself they put of disorganization calcification may occur of the cornea lens retina bowman's layer of cornea lens and retina okay what and all where and all you see calcification lens uh, cornea in the bowman's layer in the retina also so in three places they have mentioned calcification intraocular ossification bone formation all this is calcification only right may be uh, may occur due to metaplasia in the retinal pigment epithelium in the end stage of thesis bulbi and sclera may be markedly thickened sclera is thick that is the only thing that is becoming okay everything is becoming calcified and right that is why thickened sclera is also becoming thick so what is happening ossification is happening calcification ossification metaplasia of the retinal pigment epithelium so retina pigmental epithelium layers you know no retina in that the pigmental epithelium layer is undergoing metaplasia that is it's changing its shape sclera will become thickened so let's understand totally again so all the intraocular tissues are undergoing what disorganization the cornea is getting calcified the lens is getting calcified the what was the other one retina did they mention retina retina is getting calcified right then there is bone formation sclera may become thick great so now let's take a recap of thesis bulb b it is a shrunken non functional eye after chronic uveitis final stage we are seeing it can become this there is a soft shrunk atrophic eye soft shrunk atrophic eye there are three stages so the atrophic bulbi without shrinkage atrophic bulbi with shrinkage atrophic bulbi with disorganization where you will see lot of calcification bone formation everything becomes thick thick okay stage you saw the histopathological so basically remember first it will not be uh, first it wouldn't have shrunk okay first it wouldn't have shrunk then it will start shrinking then it will become calcified that's it causes we saw chronic uveitis it can become a, it can be a complication of iridocyclitis then you can see it in zoster vasculitis ischemia it can become a it can be a late complication of cataract surgery in coats disease it can end in thesis bulbi regmatogenous or primary retinal detachment in retinoblastoma very high risk that will uh, thesis bulbi will classify that retinoblastoma as a high risk in thesis bulbi what and all you'll see the iop may be decreased exactly it is decreased right only in the initial stage it, it is more mechanical entropion acquired ptosis narrow palpebral fissure eyeball size decreases corneal size also decreases calcific degeneration okay in treatment we saw they can give cosmetic scleral lenses enucleation can be done if it is painful and also a prosthesis can be given for cosmetic purposes that's all for now in this video on thesis bulb thank you bye bye